The filming takes place between sunrise and sunset on a full market day in the mood of Owan Isidoku according to the video calendar system. The event occurs in Karibu. This Ojama was sponsored by Mr. Goodness White. 3,000 blessings to you, my brothers and sisters of United Tribes of Akembele. Nkosi Sikeli, Africa. In the name of the blessed Triodua, the three great sons of Odudua, his Odua ship, Obar of Benin. His Odua ship, Oni of Ifem. His Odua ship, Alafin of Oyo. Alalabu, one name. About 600 years ago in Africa, in the land of the great Bini kingdom, there lived a great king, Oba Ohen, the son of Oba Udabedo, who in his old age was visited by the spirit of Ifa to minister a very important message to him, informing him about the great destiny of his third son, Prince Ogun, who according to the spirit of Ifa, will bring about a great and positive change in the land and unite all neighboring tribes into a single and powerful empire as the Oba of Benin Kingdom. Oba Ohen was very worried about the message, not because it was an unwelcomed one, but because according to the Benin monarchy system, only a first son can succeed his father. This system is in other words called primogeniture, a system that his predecessors have kept alive for over 400 years, and as the custodian of the law, he was not ready to break it. Oba Ohen, in his human wisdom, fasted and offered prayers to Sanobwa, the great intelligent designer of the universe, for his divine guidance to his situation and he was inspired with an answer. Oba Ohen loved his four sons so much and didn't want to do anything to cause any division between them by making Prince Ogun his third son, his successor, which was against the laws of the land. Alalabu won me. Forever brothers. The filming takes place between sunrise and sunset on a market day in the mode of Owan Lomo according to the calendar system. The event occurs in Karibu. This Ojama was sponsored by Mr. Goodness White. Nkosi Sikeli, Africa. So Oba Oha invited the Uzama, a group of powerful hereditary chiefs who were empowered by the laws of the land to install and uninstall an Oba. Oba Oha, after several unsuccessful attempts, finally succeeded in appeasing the Uzamas and made them vow to allow his four sons, beginning with the first prince, Ebeka, Prince Oriburu, Prince Ogun, and his last son, Prince Uwafiokun, to become Oba at different times in the kingdom, to give Prince Ogun his third son and predestined king a chance of becoming an Oba so that he could fulfill his destiny of becoming a unifying force in the land. Upon the death of Oba Ohen, 
and his burial rites performed. Prince Ebeka, his first son, was installed as the next Oba by the Uzama, and his reign was peaceful but short lived. Oba Ebeka ruled Bini Kingdom for a short time and later joined his ancestors. Alala me, forever brothers. The ceremony takes place between sunrise and sunset on a poor market day in the mode of Onwa and Na, according to the Uganda system. The event occurs in Ireland. This Ojama was sponsored by Mr. Goodness White. Nkosi Sikeli, Africa. After the death of Eba Ebeka, the Uzama, the King Kranos, having vowed to the late Oba Ohem to let the throne pass down to his younger sons and also for the sake of their honor, decided to crown Prince Oriburu, the second son of the late Oba Ohem, as the next Oba of the new kingdom. Oba Ebeka was later buried by his brothers, and all his burial rites was performed by the Uzamas, according to the traditions of the Benins. Prince Oriburu, having been installed as the new Oba of Benin Kingdom by the Uzamas when his late brother Oba Ebeka had an heir, an act that he knew was in clear violation of the laws of the land with regards to the first son's secession knew the Uzamas had broken the laws of the land and vowed to find out why. Oba Urubiru invited the Uzamas to his palace in an attempt to entice them with special gifts and flattery. He sang songs of praises to them. Each time he saw them walking into the palace for a meeting, and he would sing, Come, O Uzamas, the great King Kranos, the elders of the land, the untouchable, the ones whom no other day, and the ones who would dare any others. Come and dine with me, your king, and they will happily walk into the palace room and get entertained. Alala me, forever brothers. The ceremony takes place between sunrise and sunset on a full market day in the mood of Owan Isujoku according to the Hebrew calendar system. The event occurs in Karibu. This Ojama was sponsored by Mr. Goodness White. Nkosi Sikeli, Africa. Oba Uruburu continued with this trick for months until finally he got the Uzamas to reveal to him about the sacred promise they made to his late father, Oba Ohen, to let the throne pass down to his four sons. And when Oba Uribiru asked why they were forced to reveal to him about the destiny of his younger brother, Prince Ogun, Oba Uribiru, after hearing all this, instantly dismissed the Uzamas and retired to his quarters. He felt saddened with the news because he wanted his son to succeed him. As Oba, after his death, as the laws of the land permit. But with the promise the Uzamas made to his late father, he knew that would be impossible. Oba Uriburu soon got jealous of his younger brothers, Prince Ogun and Prince Uwafiokun, and saw them as threats to the throne. 
So he took counsel with his most trusted general and plotted against them. And as done, they were arrested by the royal guards. And few days later, they were summoned before their elder brother, Oba Oribiru, at the king's queen, and the whole village was present. Alala me, forever brothers. The following takes place between sunrise and sunset on Eke Market Day in the month of Onwa Mbu, according to the Google system. Event occurs in Cairo. This Ozuma was sponsored by Mr. Goodness White. Nkosi Sikeli, Africa. Oba Uribiru accused his brothers of conspiring to kill him and usurp the throne from his lineage. He made this accusation before the whole village, but as tradition demands, Prince Ogun and Prince Wafiokun was to get a fair trial to speak up about the accusation brought against them. But because earlier the king had instructed his royal guard to poison their food and water with a dangerous leaf that could make any person temporarily dumb, this made them unable to speak up against the lies of their brother. So they appeared guilty before the whole village, and a small number of persons who had been bought over by the king began to shout banish them banish them and the whole crowd joined them and they all shouted banish them oba Uriburu, at this point got exactly what he wanted and made a declaration that prince ogun and prince wafiaku should be banished from the land and never return or else they be killed and they were banished. Alala me, forever brothers. The ceremony takes place between sunrise and sunset and as for market day in the mode of Owan Okike, according to the Hindu calendar system. The event occurs in Kaya. This Ojima was sponsored by Mr. Goodness White. Nkosi Sikeli, Africa. After their banishment, Prince Ogun and his brother spent many years in exile in a mysterious land with Prince Ogun always protecting his brother and providing him with anything he desired for food. He killed many wild animals including a lion when he tried to eat his brother. On the tenth year of their exile, Prince Ogun began to have some strange dreams, including the falling down of an Iroko tree. He got very worried and he decided to seek answers, but because they were in exile, he couldn't get a babalawo to interpret his dreams. So he sent his brother to sneak into the kingdom at night and look for a babalawo to interpret his dreams. Prince Ogun escorted his brother up to the boundary between Okoro Forest and Benin Kingdom and instructed him to go alone to the house of the babalawo where he would get the answers he desired. Prince Uwafiakun did as his brother had instructed, and he sneaked into the kingdom at night and went straight to the Babalao, who immediately recognized him and told him that his brother, Oba Oribiru, had died few months ago, and the Uzamars, the King Kranos, had refused to crown his son as the next Oba. He further explained that the Uzama had been looking for them 
and promised a great reward to anyone who knew their whereabouts. When he was asked about his brother, Prince Ogun, he lied that he was killed fighting a lion. Alala won me. Forever brothers. Filming takes place between sunrise and sunset and a climactic day in the mode of Owan Lomo according to the calendar system. Event occurs in Malibu. This Ojima was sponsored by Mr. Goodness White. Nkosi Sikeli, Africa. The Babalao quickly took him to the Uzamas and the nobles of the land, and immediately he got his reward. The Uzamas and the nobles of the land were very happy that fate had brought him back to the kingdom alive. And when he was asked about his elder brother, Prince Ogun, he lied again, but this time in tears that his brother had died some years back fighting a lion and the Uzamas consoled him. He lied because he wanted to be Oba. The Uzamas deliberated among themselves that since Prince Ogun was no longer alive, Prince Uwafiankum was the next to be Oba, and they unanimously agreed. And at dawn, he was crowned Oba. Prince Ogun became very worried and thought that his brother had been killed. So he blamed himself, not knowing that he had been crowned Oba. Alala won me. Forever brothers. The filming takes place between sunrise and sunset on a poor market day in the mode of Onwa and Na, according to the calendar system. Event occurs in Malibu. This Ojima was sponsored by Mr. Goodness White. Nkosi Sikeli, Africa. After the coronation, Oba Uwafiokum hired some assassin to go in search of his brother and kill him. They searched the entire forest, but didn't find him because Prince Ogun had knew about his brother betrayer and his next plan to kill him. Prince Ogun ran to the house of one of the noblemen called Chief Ogiva for refuge, and he sympathized with him and took him in. But after some time, he got greedy and wanted the reward. So he hid Prince Ogun inside a hole and ran to the palace to inform the Oba that he had captured the prince. But one of the servants of Chief Ogeva, called Edo, knew about his evil plan, so he allowed the prince escape, an act that cost him his life. Alala won me, forever brothers. The following takes place between sunrise and sunset on a climatic day. In the mode of Onwa Mbu, according to the video calendar system, event occurs in Malibu. This Ojima was sponsored by Mr. Goodness White. Nkosi Sikeli, Africa. Prince Ogun ran to the town of his maternal auntie, called a Motan. A young woman who was famous for playing with children and he hid there. It was her auntie, an Iyanifa, who made divination to the spirit of Ifa. And the spirit of Ifa instructed Prince Ogun to go to a small village where he would find some men 
who were the finest wrestlers and warriors in the kingdom, that they will fight for him because they believe in him. Prince Ogun ran to his unknown warriors, and as fate would have it, they were his childhood friends, who knew that he was alive, and they raised an army to fight for him. Prince Ogun devised a perfect plan with his friends that drew the king out of the palace and they laid an ambush against him. The king's guard and Prince Ogun defeated and killed his brother, Obab Owafionku. He was pardoned by the Uzamas and later crowned as the Oba of the new kingdom. And upon the ascension of his throne, he took the name Oba Elwari, meaning peace have returned to the land, and he renamed the kingdom Edo in honor of the servant boy who saved his life. Please join us in our next episodes as we share more history about Eba Eware, the greatest king in new history. Alalabu one name. Alalabu one name. Forever brothers. Please, if you like this video, make sure you click the subscription button below and also the notification bell to remind you of our next video. And please, we kindly implore you to make some donations to us for as much as you can afford and for as little as 500 naira to enable us buy some new gadgets like camera and laptop. You can pay directly to the account of one of our esteemed sponsors. Thank you so much for watching and also thank you for your support.